It's another blow to local businesses. As all along Ventura Boulevard this morning, there was shattered glass and crews boarding up windows as at least eight stores were vandalized overnight. I'm not sure what the purpose of all of this is. Businesses are dying anyway with all of this closure and for them to have to suffer from this. Simon Shamoon owns Tarzana Wine and Spirits. He says it wasn't just last night as the T-Mobile next to him was hit earlier in the week. We looked on the video cameras yesterday, uh, the day before, and we saw a car go by, and as soon as that car went by at a speed, you would see the glass just come down. And it appears that's what happened again. As tiny holes can still be seen in many windows, a sign of a pellet or BB gun. The damage reaches more than seven miles on Ventura Boulevard from Tarzana to Sherman Oaks, and it looks like someone was simply driving by and using store windows for target practice. It's not surprising with the lockdown happening again. People are probably getting desperate. Maybe more aggression is happening. But for business owners, it's yet another added expense. From the pandemic, a loss in business shutdown downs, restrictions, protests, and now this. The situation is bad and it's getting worse. I'm not sure the politicians sitting out there making these decisions, I really, honest to God, do not know if they're thinking about the repercussions. And here at the stand in Encino, they weren't hit just once, but twice. They had this window shattered early Friday morning and another one shattered this morning. The LAPD isn't sure yet if all the shattered windows are connected. With a holiday weekend and more than one jurisdiction involved, it's not clear the scope of the damage or the financial impact, but it's been keeping Alan Pengbure working for 48 hours. I haven't been really slept very much the past few days. Yeah, my phone rings. I sleep all night. I try to sleep all night, but um, it's been pretty busy. It's, it was like almost like a mini riot. And although one window may not be enough of a hassle to raise red flags, these business owners hope together this crime can attract the attention needed to get these vandals arrested before things get worse. Joy Benedict, CBS 2 News.